Bali, you know, if you talk to uh, purest Olympic weightlifters, uh, the snatch is often taught before the clean because it's a more technical lift. And if you can master the snatch, you can easily master the clean. Uh, it's also a movement that doesn't require the same level of strength. Uh, however, personally, when working with adults or athletes with already a pretty strong background in strength training, who also might have mobility issues, I prefer to start working with the clean so that they can experience a good level of success first and understand the dynamic of pulling the barbell up. Then once they have that, that, that level of success, they can move on to learning the snatch and power snatch. So the first step we're gonna be using here, now I'm gonna assume that we've been trying to do the clean first, so you already did the catch drill, so there's no need to go over that one again. So the first drill you need to learn is to create a bit more barbell height. You now see with the clean, we could only focus on re reaching that position here because that's high enough to go under. In the snatch, you have to create a bit more height. So we're gonna first start doing the hang pull or the pull from the hang. Again, remember, pulling from the hang, you're stretching your bowstring. From that position, you still stand up straight, and when you contact your hips, you're gonna pull in a straight line. You don't want the barbell to end up forward, so keep the bar close to your body. You don't want to lean back either. It's here and create that closeness and height. You want the barbell to go above mid-chest level. So pull from the hang. Good. Keep in balance. Right. One more. One more. Or not. Good. All right. So it's really standing up action. You're standing up fast with your legs. That's what drives the force, the weight up. You only finish with your traps and arms to create that extra height and position. Your arms are creating the position, your legs are creating the momentum. So we'll do one more set like that. So notice the important element, reaching the full extension, not here, here, and keeping the bar close to the body when pulling. You don't want the bar to be here. It's always keeping the bar close, otherwise you won't be able to put it down. So the next drill, now that we've done high pull, learning to create the height and keeping the bar close, now we need to move under the barbell. So we're gonna do one pull, and the second rep, once you reach the top of the pull, she moves under. I'm not giving her more clues, I'm gonna see what happens, and if need be, we'll need strategies to fix problems. So one pull, one snatch. Good. That's it. Notice again the position of the catch in the power. It's still what we would consider a half squat because when she learned that position, it will be really easy to go down into a full squat. And you need to learn to transition down, not rely only on, on power to get the barbell up. Otherwise, you'll never be able to do heavy weights. Do one more set. So one pull and one snatch. The pull tells you to keep the bar closer. Good. That's it. Good. So that would be pull and power snatch complex. So now that we learn to transition between the pull and going under, we're going to work toward the full squat. So she'll do a power snatch from the hang pause for two seconds, then write it down into a full snatch. She'll do three reps. Good.
Good, one more. That's it. See, when you learn to catch the power snatch or the power clean with the right knee angle, the transition to the full movement is really easy. So now that we taught the, the brain, okay, this is the position where I want to go to. Remember, I always teach by making the person feel the right thing instead of trying to tell her what to do. Experience, let the body experience and learn by feeling. Now that we felt the right position, we're gonna do the same progression as earlier. So power snatch, pause, squat down. Power snatch a bit higher, drop down. Then full snatch. Good. Good. Excellent. So the next step, now that she gradually learned the position, would be to do all three reps in a full snatch. You can see now, now I'm doing a good coaching job, I'm not talking much. I'm just having her experience the proper feeling. So some things to, to, to notice, even the power here, I can't emphasize that enough, position of her arms, it's not here, behind the ears, so she's much more stable, she won't drop the bar forward. Most people, athletes or CrossFit, when they miss a bar, they miss it forward because they're here and their shoulders can't hold the weight up. It has to be back here so that your structures back and bone on bone structure is holding the weight up, not your, the, the, the muscle of your shoulders and triceps. So that's how you progress from scratch to the full squat, full squat snatch from the hang.